I have a second channel, Cube Compium DDX. Hey everybody, so in this video I'm going to show you how to bypass the internet connectivity requirement on Windows 11 Home. See the thing about Windows 11 Home, in case you didn't know, is when you go to install the OS, but actually no, when you go to set up the OS, let's say if you buy a new computer from Best Buy or Amazon or wherever, and you go to try to sign in to it for the first time, it requires you to connect to the internet, which if you already have a Microsoft account and you have internet access and you want to use your Microsoft account for that, then, then that's great. But let's say if you're in a location where internet access is not good, let's say if you're out in a, out in a rural area where there's only dial-up access, and you're not in a good area, you're in that poor area for cell phone coverage. I mean, there are situations where you simply would not want to or not have internet access and you want to be able to uh, set up your new Windows 11 computer. So what we're going to do is we're going to install Windows 11 home on this computer and uh, we're going to run through how to get around that requirement. Okay, since I didn't cover clean and slow Windows 11 in my previous videos about the OS. Let's go ahead and talk about it real quick. So, it's like a lot like Windows 10. As you can see. I'm going to skip this part here. Select Windows 11 Home, that's the default selection there. Next. Accept the terms. Custom, new and apply. And we'll let this install. Okay, so here is Windows 11 Home setup. At least the out of box experience. So we're going to go ahead and click yes here. Select yes here. Skip this. And you can see. Uh, it wants you to connect to the network. It says you'll need an internet connection to continue setting up your device. Once connected, you'll get the latest features and security updates. Well, it's like, well, if you don't have internet access, or if you simply don't want to connect and sign in with the Microsoft account, here's how you do it. So, you need to access con the uh, command prompt by pressing shift and hold and press F10. Here's our command prompt. We need to type OOBE backslash bypass NRO so OOBE backslash bypass NRO press enter and the computer is going to reboot And we'll just repeat the previous steps. Select yes. Select yes again. Skip. Now you select I don't have internet. Continue with limited setup. Put in our name. So now we're creating a local account, not a Microsoft account. Turn all this off, or at least I will. 
Except. I'm gonna skip the high, we're happy you're here. And go straight to the desktop. Task Manager. Because I'm going to kill OneDrive Setup. And we should see the desktop any moment now. And here we are. Here's the desktop. First time uh, signing in, and I should mention, you may, if you watched my previous videos on this computer, you may notice how things are a bit slower now. Um, that's because we're actually <clears throat> we're actually running this off of the internal hard drive instead of the uh, solid state drive. So having that SSD definitely does make a big difference in performance. On Windows 11. So once this comes up, I'll show you again that we are indeed running Windows 11 Home. Going to settings here. So we're running Windows 11 Home that we are signed in with a local account. So that's how you can bypass the dreaded internet requirement in Windows 11 Home and set up the computer with a local account and not be forced to use a Microsoft account. Now I should mention there are certain things that you will actually need to have a uh, Microsoft account for. For example, the widgets and stuff like that. There are certain features that you will actually need a Microsoft account for, but at least you can, at least you can get into your computer without having uh, the need for internet access or Microsoft account on Windows 11 Home. So anyways, hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Well everybody, that wraps up for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the computer channel, and be sure to tick that bell so you get notified when new videos are posted. Also, don't forget, I have a whole lot of other interesting videos here on the channel to check out. And also, in addition, I have a second channel, CubeComp MTDX, where I have all sorts of other videos not exactly related to technology. Links to the channels are available at the end of this video. Again, I thank you for your support and thanks for watching this video.